Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ha, Rekah Kwadash Mama. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone, and the elders. Double honors to my elders as well, Aharawan Ban Yasha Allah, the Lions Den Camp here in Jacksonville, Florida. And salutations to the fellow Akim, Atwafim, and children that believe in truth and in sincerity. It's your brother, I thank y'all. Back to you another lesson. And Yahweh Ratzazah is edifying. I want to start off in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. All right. When you go into this term mad, it doesn't necessarily mean mad as in rage or anger or being angry. All right. But it's ultimately going into being foolish. All right. But uh, you could be mad all you want, you know, when it comes to our oppression in the state that the Lord have us in, all right, what are you going to do about it, all right, not a damn thing until the Lord comes, all right, that's why Zephaniah 3 and verse 8 says what it says, all right, wait ye upon me to the day that I rise up until the pray, all right, so these scriptures really don't call for us to be carnal or angry or mad, you know, in rage, all right, as Yahweh Shai didn't deal in that manner, um, carnally all right he did it spiritually all right as far as um you know flipping the tables so on and so forth all right but again he had uh, the power to call a legion of angels and didn't all right he took his oppression he took his uh affliction he bared his cross as a true a, a true uh, a true savior man all right a, a true anointed one all right a mashiach but it says, surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, as in foolish, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Going at a term mad here, it goes into uh, halal. Halal. In the Yiddish, halal. Which I think in like in the Aramaic, I think, I think, uh, I think it, this may be a uh, uh, blessed like blessed food, halal food, all right? Which shows you that the Yiddish is all BS. But it says, to praise, boast, be boastful. To be boastful, boastful ones, boasters. Make a boast to be praised, be made praiseworthy, be commended to be worthy of praise. And that's what our people, our people are poor and proud. All right, as they lack the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, they're poor in the physical sense and proud, and they're for, poor in the, in the spiritual sense. All right, lack them, lacking the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Heavenly Father and crucifying them afresh daily. All right, so they boast in, in, in vanity. All right, um, to make a fool of, make into a fool. And that's what these people have made our people foolish. All right, they gave them black culture. All right, they, they call themselves black. All right, a color out of the crayon box instead of uh, uh, their nationality or what the Lord called them. All right, instead of surnaming themselves Israel and returning back to the law, statute, commandments of the Heavenly Father, they want to uh, uh, wally in the mud. Man. All right. Um, but again, these scriptures really don't call for us ever to be angry or carnal. All right, as that can be a stumbling block for a lot of brothers, all right, or excuse for them to um, act in rage where that's not so, all right, we ought to uh, keep our foot as our wrath doesn't work the wrath of the Heavenly Father. It's the book of James chapter 1 and verse 20. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, right? The wrath of man don't work the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, all right? So we can't take matters into our own hands. All right. We wait on the Lord to rise up to the prayer. And that's what he's doing. All right. He's preparing the nations as we speak. All right. Over there in the Valley of Kidron. All right. Preparing them for war. Ultimately to return back our captivity, our oppression. All right. So our people can no longer have to be foolish. All right. Whether they listen or not, whether they hear or forbear. They will be destroyed and brought back into this kingdom as a newborn baby with the right mindset, with the truth. Uh, 
scripture to get when it comes to uh, that feeling, all right, or that thought when you read Ecclesiastes 7 and 7 on mad, but knowing now it means foolish. Um, one to get is Ecclesiastes 1 and verse 18. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increase of knowledge increase of sorrow, right? Because when you increase knowledge here, all right, you begin to be like Lot, all right, vexed with the conversation of the wicked, all right? So you, you grow grief as you grow wisdom, all right, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you grow, grow grief. And they resort to what Ecclesiastes, uh, I believe it's chapter 3, all right, and you see things for what it is, man. Things, all things are vanity of vanities. All right. Here on this side, Esau's heaven, Esau's kingdom, as it's full of wickedness. So much wisdom is much grief. And this is Ecclesiastes 1 and 18 from the top. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increase of knowledge increase of sorrow. All right, so you increase of knowledge, you increase of sorrow. All right, so surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, meaning foolish. Shalom, habitat, DTA to the next one.